Hello, everybody. I think you are probably ready to go ahead and start creating your haiku video project. In order to get started, you need to have your haiku already written. You can see here on my screen that I have a sample haiku finished. So I'm ready to start to bring it to life in WeVideo. I'm going to open another tab and go to WeVideo.com. Once I'm there, I'm going to click Log In in the top right corner. And then, of course, the best option is Log In with Google. On the next page, I'll give permission for my account to be accessed. And that is going to take me to the dashboard page of WeVideo. There's lots of different ways to start a video project, but we're going to do the simplest. We're going to go to Create New, which is a blue button in the top left corner. We'll choose the video option. Now, for some of you, it might open up right to the editing space. Other people, it might ask you to pick a project. Either way, you can click Start Editing, and it's going to land you on a screen that looks like this. We can go ahead and uh, shrink that preview section. And then that is going to give us plenty of space to create. If we go over to the stock media tab, you will find a library with pre-stocked um, different video clips and photos. So we're going to try to use what we find here. Um, one of the lines in my haiku mentions high tech world. So we have kind of a high tech existence, right? So I'm going to search high tech. I think I see a lot of different options. I don't really like anything that I'm seeing. So I think I'm going to search video games because that's really what I'm talking about for um, my particular haiku. All right. So I think I'm going to pick this one as my very first video clip. That's going to be for the first line of my poem, High Tech World We Have. And then um, it says Fortnite Coaches for College. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a picture of a video game happening. Okay. And then I think I only need this much. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the rest of that because I don't need it. And then the third video clip, Games Changing the World, I think I'm going to look for college acceptance because the whole point of, oh, perfect. The whole point of um, Fortnite Coaches and uh, the Listen Wise this week was about how it can help um, students get into college if they can be part of an esports team. So I'm going to go ahead and now record a voiceover to kind of match what I have going on. So I'm going to go to my media tab and I'm going to hit this narrate button. And then once I click narrate, I'm going to click record. I'm going to just read my haiku. High-tech world we have. Fortnite coaches for college. Games changing the world. So notice that I read it like a, a pretty easy pace. I didn't rush it, right? And you're going to get the best sound quality if you use earbuds with a microphone. But if you don't have that, it's fine to just go ahead and use your regular Chromebook mic. I'm going to click save to get my recording in there. And then I need to go back and uh, match what I was saying with the video. So I'm going to shrink this video down because I talk about um, high-tech world just in the first part. Okay, now my, my picture needs to change. And that's really all I need to see. So I'm going to use these scissors to cut, and I don't need the rest of that clip. Um, I do have a third clip picked out all the way over here, so I'm going to scoot it down on the video one line. Put it right here. 
All right, and again, I don't need that whole clip, so I'm gonna use the scissors to cut it. And now I have a haiku. So super easy, right? Um, the best thing about a movie project are the credits and the title. So I'm gonna click here in this blank space and just kind of drag and hold across all of this so I can highlight it all at once and I'm gonna shift it down a little because I want some space for some credits and uh, I also want to have um, a title. So let's see. I'm going to go to text. I'm going to grab my favorite, um, which I kind of like this one. I'm going to drop it in here, trim to fit. If I double click on it, I can actually edit it. So I'm going to put um, what I learned. Actually, instead of what I learned, I think I'm going to say, mm, video games for college, a haiku, okay? And I kind of want this to be a lot smaller than the other one. So I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. You don't have to do that, but it's something I like to do. Uh-oh, that went really fast. So I can move all of this down a little bit more. I can stretch this out a little bit. Actually, those timestamps at the top, those are seconds. So I think I want about four seconds for my title. Let's see how it plays this time. All right. That went a lot better. Now at the end, you'll notice I'm using the slider bar at the bottom because I can make the timeline appear smaller or I can expand it and sometimes that helps when I'm editing. But I'm going to grab that same pattern for the end, double click on it. And this time I'm just going to say created by and then put my name. Okay. That's all we really need. It's just some simple credits. I don't want it to last that long so I'm going to I think shrink it down about half. All right. So now all that is missing is some music. I'm gonna go pick out some music. I think I like this one, so I'm gonna drop it onto the audio track. And I can cut it. I don't have to listen to the whole thing. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna click the scissors button, get rid of the second half of the song. And here is what my haiku looks and sounds like. Awesome. So simple project. One thing you should have noticed though is that the music's really loud. So I'm going to turn the music down to uh, about 20%, maybe 15 if it's a really loud song. And let's hear the difference now as we play it back. All right, so I am done. I'm going to go ahead and click finish. I'm going to name it. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the HD option and the Google Drive option and then click export. So what this is going to do is save a copy of my very finished, beautiful um, video project into my Google Drive, and then I can turn it in in Google Classroom or do with it whatever my teacher tells me to do. So that's it for this tutorial. Congratulations on writing a haiku and good luck on bringing it to life.